uh, to back up uh, 38 traffic stop. Uh, he had a knife pulled out on him. 10 4, show me now. 1 2 7, I'll be 97. 10 4, 405, I'm direct on your 10 Oh, this subject here. Report that I got 416. The heck's going on? Go You're ahead and uh, me over. Oh my lord, look at that boat. I'm going to the lake today. What is going on with Sandy? Um it's normal boat things. Night, I guess. Um alright, yeah. Go ahead and step off. Let me grab that knife off of you and then we're gonna get this uh boat car thing figured out, okay? Um is it illegal to have a knife? Fine, here. Here's the knife. What it's a what? it's it's a hey, calvary day. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, I'm giving it to you. Oh my God! Uh, okay. uh, you said you wanted it. You said that you wanted it, so I said, "Here you go." That's a giant knife. You understand the reason why we're asking you about this now? That's giant. Believe it or not, our uh, our DMV has registered this thing through San Andreas, so this must be legal. They're gonna be released with their uh, knife in hand, and they'll be on their way. Thank you. Yep. Uh, here's your information back. Okay. Um, thank you. I would look for a flashlight or call for somebody that had a flashlight so you can get these turn signals or just leave this thing here till morning. So if you get look, a tailwind, does that help push the push the car down the road? Um, a little bit, I think. I don't know how sailboats work. They just work, When the wind hits the back of the sail, you know, and pushes it. Yeah, but what about the wind that's on the front of the sail, like all that air? Doesn't that, like, cancel it out? No, I mean, you would want... Ideally, you, you would could. want the wind to be hitting the sail to... Fill it up to push I'm, it. I'm not a I'm not a meteorologist, but if you had wind come in at two separate directions, it's pretty much a tornado. So, <laughs> um, what oh, I mean accurate. is like all that air in front of it, though. Like as it's getting pushed, doesn't it also push back at equal force? Look, I love natural science as much as the next person, but I don't know if we can have a science class on the side of the uh, of the road here. <laughs> well, Look, I, I guess. Floyd, I okay, where's my knife? knife? Okay, I'm, I'm getting there. I put your knife over there on the concrete, oh my God. over there on that on that uh, ledge. So now, you're here's damaging what's gonna happen. it. Here's what's going to happen. What? All right. When we're out of the what? way and we're no longer on the scene, you can go over there and grab your knife. Not a minute beforehand, okay? What? What do you mean? That's my property, and it's you're not damaging not it. All right, Miss Lloyd, you have a good ep good evening, okay? Okay. Bye. Oh my Andy. God. Have a good morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's one in the morning. Thirty-eight one two seven. Am I available? To to have you go to postal 1030 there's a boat in the alamo sea throwing explosives into the water oh yeah 10 4 i'll be in route to marina one to some same traffic 10 4 4 4 3 the caller morgan will be out at the dock as well if you'd like to speak with him sandy one two seven you show both units uh 97 Sandy, Sandy, there you copy, please. Go for it. I make contact. Romeo, Romeo Papa, Papa, Romeo Tango, Romeo Six. Hello, how you doing uh, today? Doing well, uh, I just called you that boat out there. You can kind of see it there. They keep throwing explosives in the ocean. Oh, okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. Are Romeo, you the you're the owner of this vehicle here? Papa Romeo. Oh yeah, I, Tango, I was just coming Romeo out here to uh, take a look, uh, sit on the dock and enjoy the view. And they're they throwing dark and... explosives in the water. Is it a big, like, uh, orange yacht out there? Uh, I can't tell. Uh, we saw that thing that in tow earlier. Is that? Yeah, I think that's what what it is. Yeah, I can't tell the color. It's grab my cabin cruiser right. right there, kind of off the right in front of us, between us and the. Yeah, he's gonna get the binoculars. Yeah. And we'll look. We appreciate you calling in and letting us know about it. Oh, for sure. All right. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Morgan. Morgan Dorfer. Morgan Dorfer is a uh, county. county. Yeah, it sounds like county's going to take their boat out. Are either you or 463 able to yeah. break off that traffic stop on top. to get a boat? It's going to be a white male, brown tank top, blue jeans. All right. Yeah, I think we'll further that 43 because uh, I think they are going to get a boat in the water. Yeah, it's a big orange boat. Big, big, big vessel. Um, huh, you know what's funny? It's in that cove over there. Pulled by a little gator. Yeah, I saw that too when we were on our traffic stop. Yeah, well, the uh, the ATV and the trailer is right over there. Ah, so that's where they launched it. Sandy, 127. Go ahead, 127. Uh, we've located the 
uh, vehicle that launched the vessel. Uh, it's going to be at 1036 just off the berms here. It'll be San Andreas Plate, uh, Bravo Echo, Yankee 283, BEY 283. There's the sheriff's uh, vessel right there heading out into the Copy sea. Do you want to join us on this? Yeah, 10 4. I'm just back here by the uh, boat and or by the trailer and the ATV. Looks like the boat is coming back. And they are making contact with them now, it looks like. So we'll see what's going on here. Try to get the bottom of this because it's been uh, been interesting. I think Third they have that individual in their custody, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and send me another. I think they do indeed. This is our Ten guy. Four. What's going on, man? Did they already uh, tell you your rights and all that? Oh, no. They didn't say I was under arrest. Okay, well, I'm just going to let you know. I mean, you're not under arrest right now. I'm just letting you know that you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say uh, can and will be used against you in the court of law. You're right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Yeah, I understand. Okay, with these rights being read to you, do you wish to continue to talk to us today? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, wonderful. Well, my name is Officer Fabian with the Sandy Shores Police Department. Uh, we originally had a call. I'm sure they've told you what was going on. Yeah, yeah. The explosions uh, in the water yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, under, underground explosions. Yeah, so what's going on with that? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe like an earthquake or something. An earthquake? Earthquake doesn't sound like explosions, sir. But it scared me, I'll tell you what. So you weren't you weren't lofting any explosive device into the water? Never. And you own that, that orange boat? Yeah, that's mine. Okay. Would you have a problem with us going through it and looking? Oh, no. No, you can search it. Okay. They're going to go in and do exactly that. They're, they're going to go out there and search the vessel for uh, explosive devices. Okay. I've already Mirandized him. Uh, and told him uh, that he has rights and all that stuff. He says he wants to continue to talk to us. Okay. Good deal. All right. Well, a few things, ma'am. So your, your license, your driver's license is fine. Okay. We don't have any issues there. Your fishing license, however, is expired. Plus, the way you were fishing is a no-go. Expired? I got that thing last year. It doesn't matter, man. You don't... You, you can't... Uh, you, you can't grenade a fish, okay? That's... I don't know how else to put it. Um, well, technically, I didn't, I didn't even grenade a fish because nothing even flowed to the top. Here, I can push you on it. Get him back in the water. There we go. <laughs> it, to be completely honest, it was firecrackers. They're, firecrackers they're, they're, okay. Yeah, they're like, I don't, I don't know, like two inches long. It's not like a yeah. stick of dynamite or anything. Okay. All right. Well, having those is fine. You can, you can, you can be in possession of firecrackers. You just can't be in possession of dynamite or grenades or rockets or anything like that. You know, there we go. Just beach it. It's one way to do it. <laughs> Just beach it. <laughs> I think he needs to take his boat in course. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so we uh, he had a whole box full of homemade explosives, about 13 in the box. Oh. What were they like? Were they like... They were like straight like up homemade. Pipe, like pipe Yeah, like pipe bombs, pretty much, straight up. Yeah, I got them on a boat if you want to look at them. Oh, that changes it all. I've got clothing on the boat. I've got beer on the boat. Hey, I'm talking about the box of explosives. What did he just find? Oh, yeah, yeah, firecracker. Yep. Those are pretty big firecrackers. You want to mind open that box and let him see these pipe bombs? Pipe bomb? If I were to guess, they're roughly 10 inches. Oh, that, that's just a little, that's just a little firecracker. You told me a two inch firecracker and that firecrackers are manufactured. I was estimating two inches, okay, give or take. Yeah, Still doesn't so. change the fact of what you've been doing, man. Okay, I apologize. I didn't. I didn't mean to harm anybody. Okay. Well, ha making explosives, like handmade explosives, homemade explosives, is illegal. So let's go ahead and step over here. I'm gonna pat you down for any weapons and any any anything on your person. Okay. Let's take you on the jail, okay? A jail. Well, yeah. Well, you yeah. Can't... You've committed some felonies today, sir. I didn't, I didn't make damn. Come on. Over I here. bought them. <laughs> hey, you're both getting away from you. 
I thought I anchored it. <laughs> On the I'm ground? Back. I, I've never seen a boat go across sand like that. That's amazing. Oh my, look at this. Well, look at this boat go. Why'd you get them? Because <laughs> I need some firecrackers. Okay. All right. Um, we anchored the boat out there. You turned the boat off, right? Yeah, it's all. Okay. Well, if you've anchored it and the, and the keys, it, you get the key, right? No, no, the key's still on the boat. Do you mind making a trek back out to that boat one more time to obtain the keys out of the ignition? Yeah, Abraham, I can. All right, we're going to put this uh, box of explosives in the back here. So we're going to take that into evidence. He is getting uh, processed now. Uh, so he will be going to jail, obviously, for what he did. And that will be pretty much that. So fishing with firecrackers uh, and fish and wildlife would not be happy if they came across it. That's for sure. Head over here to the motel for a vehicle, a yellow vehicle doing donuts. And the manager wants them trespass from the property. So we will see what this is all about. It's going to be on the other side of the motel here. 2A5 County. Go ahead. Uh, could you route to 1017 <laughs> off Marina Drive to pick up 463? A firm. So far, thank you. There's the vehicle right there. Right up here. Come on, buddy. Don't don't stop here. Stop up. We have room. Oh, yeah, they're pulling over. Perfect. Sandy, one to seven. Go ahead, one to seven. I've uh, located the vehicle. Final stop is going to be at uh, ten twelve westbound on Joshua Road. Hey, how you doing today? I'm doing good, Vato. All right, my name is uh, Officer Faviano with the Sandy Shores Police Department. The reason for the stop today, man, is uh, we've got reports of you doing donuts back there at the motel. What's that about? Man, I told her I was leaving. Somebody cut me off, and I, like, skidded into her parking lot, man. You skidded? You weren't actively doing donuts in it? I mean, I kind of took the opportunity. Okay, I appreciate like that. Donut. All right, just one? Yeah. All right, uh, you have your driver's license on you, prove insurance of the vehicle? Yeah. All right. And what's your name, sir? Juan. Juan, what's your last name? Moto. Juan Moto. All right. Yeah, just hand that over to me right there. I'll verify all that, and then we can get you on your way, okay? Right, that, do me a favor. Just remain in the vehicle. Don't I'm get out or anything like that, okay? I'll be right back with you. I'm just trying to wrap up the banana mobile, but somebody liked to throw cake on the side of my car there. Okay, okay, I got you. Here he is right here. Gang affiliation, violent fleeing armed. Uh, lots of records. Biggest thing I'm looking for is any of those problems. Like, uh, you know, a warrant or something, which I don't see here. We got a Mitsubishi Eclipse, yellow 2008. That is the vehicle we were looking for there. It's valid and approved. Good to go. Everything checks out here. I'm just going to give him a warning for the uh, donut and let him be on his way. All right, Mr. Moto, here's your information back. I appreciate okay. your cooperation. Um, yeah, they, uh, they said they don't want you back on the property for at least 24 hours, okay? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, because if you go back there before 24 hours and we see you there, well, then we're going to have a problem with the trespassing issue. So you've been trespassed from that property. I'm not writing a citation for the donut or anything like that, okay? Oh, okay. All right, you have any questions for me? No. All right, have a good night now. You too. All right, bye-bye. So there you go. He's been trespassed from the property for 24 hours. Uh, he admitted to doing the donut. He said he took advantage of the opportunity of doing it, which is true. He was honest with us. And in return, we give him a, a warning. He'll be on his way. We got a fire back there. Are they just doing a, a pretend burn? I wonder if they're training for a fire. But that is definitely an active fire over there. 
It might be training though. It's behind the fire station. I don't think so. I don't know what that is. Let me go check it out. Let's see what's going on with this. Same 30. It's a vehicle Second fire. Service. Morning given. Vehicle fire. First on scene. Distress back in channel. Sandy, one to seven. Go ahead, one to seven. Out with the vehicle fire at uh, one zero four four. I don't know if you have anybody around for that. Uh, send for uh, station two. Uh, the engine two should be on route to that. Ten four. Thank you. Yeah, it's a vehicle fire, and I think they're on their way. Maybe they don't know where it's at. I don't know if there's a victim in here or what. Hello? Anybody around? Good news is nobody in the car. Yeah, I don't see anybody in the car. Oh, the brush truck's on scene. I don't see anybody in the vehicle. Okay. Oh my oh. God. Yep. Yep. I'll let them do their thing here. That is no good. All right. Is that the person walking away that was involved or nope? That's a uh, AI, but here's the vehicle that was on fire right here. There's nobody in it. He's doing a fire investigation. We're running the plate. Uh, no luck on the plate on this one. So it's kind of, kind of, uh, anybody's guess who owns it at the moment. The only thing I can see out of place is it looks like it might've been hot wired. Okay. The cables are supposed to be here and they're connected to each other at the, uh, under the ignition, like they were trying to hot start it. Disrespect so I'm right. wondering if maybe it got too hot and Four caught five, on fire and then maybe it left it here to burn. Yeah, that makes sense because uh, I ran the plate and the plate is coming back stolen in the state. So it's a stolen vehicle uh, that I guess they uh, yeah had caught fire and then they, they just left it here to burn. All right, so we're going to get a tow and route for this thing. Uh, we're going to open the road back up. So there you go. Somebody stole the vehicle, hot wired it, and uh, it caught on fire. They didn't know what to do, so they just abandoned it here on the side of the road. So. Good thing we saw it. I was like, you know, I thought maybe they were doing a uh, controlled burn behind the building on the uh, the practice area there. But uh, no, it turned out to be a car fire. Tow truck has shown up. Look at this. All right. Beautiful. We love to see it. That's a beautiful Ram too. Nice truck. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you, sir? Ah, uh, doing all right. We had a uh, vehicle that got abandoned after it was stolen, and uh, they hot wired it and it caught on fire. So it's pretty charred up, but needs to be removed. Yeah, we'll get it out of here for you. Just go to the uh, You can take that directly to the uh, the junkyard. I think that's where they're gonna keep it there since it's so badly damaged, and we've got the plate and everything. Okay, perfect. Appreciate it. Badge number one two seven. Have a good one. All right, you too, sir. Thank you. All right, later. Got the little campsite out there and off of Nowhere Road, you know, kind of like next to the uh, U-Tool lot there. They got that alien painted on there and all that. There's a lot of neat trails over oh, yeah. there to check out. Ooh, aliens? Just stay out of the Joshua trees. They get the fish and wildlife get... Oh. That's not good. Oh. County no, Bruce, man. Break. Okay, I, got shots I will. Be uh, safe, y'all. Shots fired. Lots of them. Uh, 
Confirming, yes, it is the 24 7. Suspect is down at this time. The suspect's down. What the heck happened? Taxi ran over his bike. Oh, okay. They don't like it when that happens. No nope. counting 019. Is that 24 7 and Sandy? Wow. Um, so a local so looks like the subject's down didn't like that start. taxi cab hitting their bike and they started shooting at the taxi cab which makes it tough because the taxi cab is also under uh, AI control bad situation there I mean we've seen the AI freak out about the taxi cabs in the past quite a few times but holy crap they're gonna check on them and all will be well this guy is kind of pushing his luck as far as getting involved on the scenes Yeah, just give us space to do our thing, man. Okay. You good over here? Yeah, I was just checking on this guy. All right. I doubt he's alive. We'll let him up good. Yeah, he was just firing right into the uh, taxi. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, I'll let you guys do your thing. If you need anything, just let me know. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Yep. Look at that. Keeping the streets safe of the crazy locals in Sandy Shores. All right, so we've got Station 2 requesting uh, assistance here at this spot. And we're going to be on scene now. So I'm not sure what this is about. We'll have to see. That's far, thank you. Sandy, 127, I'll be 97. That's far, Sandy, 97. Let's see what's going on here. I'm doing all right. My name is Officer Fabio with Sandy Shores Police Department. What's going on? Uh, uh, well, I, I crashed. Oh, okay. In this car right here? Yeah. All right. Were uh, you requesting to speak to us? Yeah. Someone threw something in the road, man. They threw something in the road? Yeah. They threw something in the road and I hit it. And I, I tried to avoid it and I hit it and it just, I, I crashed into a tree. Okay. Well, what was it? I, I don't I don't know. It was yellow and it, I don't know. It just they threw it at my car. They, they threw it in my wheel and I, I didn't want to hit whatever it was. So I tried to swerve and I kind of spun out and went right in the tree. All right. So you're traveling uh, eastbound on Algonquin. You avoided whatever obstacle was in the road. And then what happened to the vehicle? Like do a 360 to like a 180. Do you remember? Uh, uh, I don't remember exactly. Uh, I think actually, you know what? It it did like a like a 180 kind of, not even 180. Okay. It's like more like a 90, like you know. I went, I just I like 90 degree turn basically went sideways into it. Okay, so it went sideways into it, and then it uh, now is facing south. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it went sideways into the tree. Okay, I got you. The All kid right. Yelled something at my car too. Like he yelled something at me. All right. Let me find out what's going on here. Um, make sure you don't have any warrants or nothing like that, okay? Um, okay. You said your name's John McVaught? Yeah. All right. I'll be right back. We have to make sure that, uh, you know, nothing else is going on here. Uh, he hit a tree. It's kind of weird how the car is angled here. If he was traveling down this road, going this way, that it spun around to the spot that it's at. doesn't make a lot of sense, so... We're going to have to figure this out. John with a J-O-H-N. Yes. Oh, he has a warrant. <laughs> of course he does. Of course he has a warrant. Is it current? It is active. This warrant is for the immediate arrest and extradition of John McVaught for violation of University City Ordinance Section 215-2330 yard or garage sales restrictions. All questions can be forwarded to the University City, uh, University City of Missouri Police Department's non-emergency line. There you go. On the afternoon of March 14th, 2024, Sar I Sergeant Edward Slater, University City of Missouri Police Department, was on routine patrol around the 7,000th block of Corbett Avenue. I witnessed signs signaling an ongoing yard sale in the area. After circling around, and determined this to be the located, uh, be located at the end of the 7,000th block. 
close to the intersection of Partridge Avenue. Upon stopping and speaking with the individual hosting this yard sale, I identified them Mr. John McVaught. After searching around, this yard sale determined little to be of value except a small antique children's doll. I tried to negotiate a fair price. However, Mr. McVaught refused to come down from his absurd ask of $40. I returned to my patrol empty handed. The next day, I noticed the same household offering the same yard sale. I stopped once again and tried haggling with Mr. McVaught about his antique doll, but once again, he refused to come down in price. Next day, I once again observed the same household and the same individual hosting his yard sale. This time, I spoke with Mr. McVaught and informed him of his violation of ordinance code section 215-2330, which prohibits any person or persons to offer for sale household goods in a yard or garage sale in excess of two days during any calendar year. Mr. McVaught is in violation of the city law and as such has been committed a, or has committed a misdemeanor offense. Unfortunately, at this time, I was called to assist another officer in distress, blah, 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 blah. Arrest him. Mr. McVaught had vacated the premises. Premises and was nowhere to be found. Mr. McVaught's immediate arrest and return to University City Police custody is imperative. Mr. McVaught is a fugitive from justice in violation of local law. There you go. We got through the warrant. My God. All right. Yeah. So it's for uh, it's out of University City, Missouri, but it's for having more than one uh, garage sale within a calendar year or whatever it was. If you want to look it up, it is, it's a novel. Uh, yes. It's basically a, uh, a university city copy? officer that's just power yeah. tripping. All right, sir, you have anything illegal on you that's going to put me, stick me, harm me in any way? Can you face away from me? Uh, okay. All right, you have anything uh, illegal on you? No. Okay. What's this about, officer? Well, unfortunately, man, you got a warrant. What? Yeah, you got a warrant. Extradition out of University City in Missouri. When was the last time you were there? Uh, ow, ow, ow. Easy, easy. Ow. Don't resist or anything. No, no, man, it's gonna be a car accident. I, I understand, man. I'm being as easy and gentle as I possibly can here, but I got extradition. You just refused medical treatment. I so don't have good insurance. I've got a lot of court cases I'm dealing I, with right now. I totally understand that. This one looks like it's a it's a whole hoopla as well about uh, a garage sale in University City. What? It's a, a garage sale? Yeah, having multiple garage sales. You were selling an antique doll. Yeah. I was, yeah. Does that ring a bell? Doll? Yeah. Dude, I hate. This is the dumbest thing. I'm actually kind of upset that they're making me bring you in on this. This what? is out of University City in Missouri. No way in hell would I be doing this, but they're very firm on uh, getting you. I, I, but it was, it, I, what, what? Yep. So do you know anything about that? Yeah, I, I, I was trying to sell a bunch of stuff because I was, I was renting there for a few months and I was on my way out. And I was just trying to sell off some stuff in the last few days before I left. And there was this one cop who kept coming by again and again, just trying to buy this uh, this doll off me. Yeah. And I, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go down on the price because I I know what I have. I understand that. I mean, that's that's about it. Um, but you were in violation of a city ordinance about having multiple uh, garage sales or yard sales. I was. I mean. That's what the did. yeah. That's what the warrants for, man. I mean, he... wouldn't that technically be civil? I mean, how are they extraditing on a civil? I mean, that's is it, or it's, is it criminal. It's Missouri law, so I really don't know. I, I just was trying to sell my stuff before I moved back out of here. I understand that, man. You know, you get you get yourself a, a good lawyer. They're gonna throw that dude. That that's insane. I'm <laughs> I'm actually pissed because Nobody yeah, we're. We're trying to go home today, and we can't even go home because now we gotta, we gotta extradite you. So this, whoever's doing this in University City is screwing us both over, both over as well. I don't. Yeah. I just, okay. I'll buy your golf clubs if you're looking to sell them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. So here's the deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the cuffs in the front. I'm only gonna cuff you in the front. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you do have the right to remain silent, and then you say, can and will be used against you in the court of law. 
You have a right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed by the state. You understand these rights? Uh, yeah. Okay. With these rights being read, do you wish to continue to talk to us? Yeah. All right, man. I know you're not having a good day. I got to get my car, and I don't have good insurance. And you don't have insurance on the car? I don't have insurance on the car. I don't have good health insurance either. Okay. That's kind of the, that's the least of your worries, because here at least, I mean, with that... I'm not looking to, uh, you know, add charges to what you already got going on here. So that's a citation that'll get thrown out if you just get insurance on the car and take that to court. Okay. Now, do you are you out of Missouri or you live here in San Andreas? I, I lived in St. Louis for a couple of months. Okay. In this University City. Okay, I understand that. So it's going to be a, a pretty painless uh, deal here. Otherwise, you would have gone with the ambulance. They would have released you after the hospital, and we would have had to extradite you that way. Um, but you refused that medical treatment, so now we're going to take you down to the station and do the whole the whole thing. Okay. All right. So that's what's going on. I'm just letting you know. They okay. want you on that, that ridiculous charge. Uh, okay. All right. You can sit in the front of my car, okay? You don't have weapons on you or anything. No, I don't. I, there's one in the car, though. Okay. There's a weapon in the car? You have a... Re yeah. Is it registered? Yeah. Please tell me it's registered. Is it registered? Uh... I mean... It's like... It, I didn't really expect to be in this situation in the night. Yeah, no one ever does. It's my girlfriend's. It's your girlfriend's gun? What yeah. kind of gun is it? It's a rifle. A rifle? What kind of rifle? It's an AK base. An AK based rifle in your car? Yeah. yeah, it's in the back seat. Okay. Is it registered to you? No. Okay. All right. We'll have. Go ahead and have a seat. Okay. I'm gonna help you. There you go. Put your seatbelt on right here. Just gonna keep those cuffs. <laughs> they're not. They're not super tight on you or anything. Okay. I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay. He says there's a weapon in the vehicle. It's an AK base on it. Ooh. He says it's his girlfriend's. It's not registered. Uh, you yeah. You can see it back Look there. It's the gold. Yeah, the gold AK. Yeah, he's not even saying that he's trying to sell it or it's a you know an item that or anything like that. It's just that he has it. Thank you. And he didn't expect so, to be man, in this I situation. Got some golf clubs out of this. I know, man. All right, man. So, yeah, bad news. You're going to you're going to end up with a charge with the uh, the weapon. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, you're in possession of that uh, weapon. It's not stolen or anything like that, is it? No. Okay. I'm trying to help you out the best I can, man. But I mean, like, this is a a bad situation. I didn't really expect any of this to happen. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that warrant out, and they're okay. going to extradite you from there. Okay. So I think you're going to have a, it shouldn't be long. It's now midnight. The most you're going to be here is probably about six. I think they're going to be picking people up to get them transferred by probably seven in the morning. Okay. And then they'll probably fly you back out of LSIA, I would imagine. Okay. All right. We're going to get on out of here and go inside. And through those doors right there, here, I'm going to go ahead and take these cuffs off you here. And they, this uh, gentleman here is going to help you. Okay. Get processed in there and all that stuff, okay? Um, okay. But you're looking at the charge, having that weapon. That's something we'll just we'll we'll deal with that down the road. Um, but yeah, man, get yourself a lawyer, okay? Okay. All right. Have a Bye. good one. <laughs> oh, brain gap in his crazy warrants, man. That one took me out. That one took me out. That was a tough one. Not going to lie.